today on Kelsey's Plant Based Kitchen, we are making black beans in the Instant Pot. to use my Instant Pot is to bulk cook staple ingredients so I always have them ready to go in my freezer or my fridge. Yes, you can buy canned beans, but to be honest, there's a lot out of your control when you're buying them in a can. First of all, they're a little more expensive. Granted, not crazy expensive, but you are going to pay a little bit more to have that convenience of them already cooked. You also cannot control any of the ingredients, namely salt. Now, I'm not against using salt in cooking. I think it adds a lot of flavor and it's something that we really can appreciate in our cooking when it's used the right way. But a lot of canned foods are oozing with unnecessary salt. So by making your own in the Instant Pot, you can control the amount of salt that you're adding so that they're just as flavorful as what you need them to be. Today, we're going to do really, really simple. We're just doing salt and pepper in our black beans but there are so many endless flavor combinations. I like to just do salt and pepper because I make a pound at a time and I'll use it for all sorts of different recipes. If you were going to make these black beans just for a certain recipe and you knew you wanted a Mexican flair or an Italian flair or something like that, you could adjust your seasonings accordingly so you wouldn't have to season them so much later on in the use. So, why we're using the Instant Pot for our black beans. You can use any kind of electric pressure cooker to do these black beans, but let's face it, Instant Pot is pretty much a household brand at this point and that's what we're using today. So one of the big reasons I love using the Instant Pot for my black beans, because yes, you can cook these on the stove, but there is a huge perk to cooking black beans in your Instant Pot. And the number one thing is, you don't have to think ahead. I am the worst at coming home with no idea of what I'm making for dinner that night. And so being able to make some black beans if I don't have any already prepared without having to soak them is so key. Because even if I know I'm going to use them the next day, sometimes remembering to soak your black beans is just not in the cards. So the big perk to making them in the Instant Pot is that you don't have to soak them. So to make black beans in the Instant Pot, you only need a few ingredients. Obviously, you need black beans. You can get dried black beans. I have just a pound, a bag that has a pound of dried black beans in them. I have some kosher salt and some black pepper that I'm gonna grind in there. And then you need some water. Let's get started making our black beans in the Instant Pot. So the first thing you wanna do is rinse your black beans. You do wanna kinda peek through them after you rinse them and just make sure you don't find any little rocks. Not probable, but I have actually found a rock in a bag of beans before. So you do want to give them the once over so you don't end up biting down into a little tiny piece of rock. Okay, so the beans are fully rinsed and looked through. Now what we want to do is add them to our Instant Pot. So we're going to just pour the beans in here. Now, Anytime you do dried beans, it's a one to three bean to water ratio. That means we're doing two cups of beans. Um, about a pound of beans is two cups. So we're doing two cups of beans. We're going to add six cups of water. If you were just doing a smaller batch, like say you were making it for dinner that night and you didn't want to store extras um, and you were doing just a cup, you would do one cup of beans to three cups of water. If you're making even more, you can do the math, right? So we have our beans in here. We're gonna add our six cups of water. Okay, so we have our beans and our water. Now, give it a little stir. We can add salt and pepper to taste. Like I said, if you wanna be um, creative or you know what you're going to use this for so you know the seasonings you want to use, go ahead and add them in now. It's really going to help the beans infuse with flavor and make your final dish that much better. For right now though, I'm just going to do salt and pepper. So really, like I said, you can control the amount of salt. Um, so if you are on a heart healthy diet, you're watching the amount of salt you're taking, you can do minimal salt or even no salt. Um, or 
you can be generous with it too. So I just have a couple pinches of salt in there. I'm gonna do a couple cranks of some black pepper. Okay. So we have our salt and our black pepper in here. Um, we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Now the beans are just sinking at the bottom, so it's a lot of water on top of your beans. Don't worry about it because it's all going to get absorbed. And that is one of the benefits of using a pressure cooker is in a limited amount of time, you're going to end up with perfectly cooked beans and you don't even have to soak them overnight. So we'll go ahead and add, put the lid on. We're going to do high pressure and we're going to set it for 50 minutes. You want to make sure that your valve is where it's supposed to be, that your Instant Pot is closed and locked and that it's on. And now we just have to let the Instant Pot do the work. We're going to let it go for 50 minutes. Um, it'll be let you know when it's done. And then I want you to just let it sit for 15 minutes and let it kind of naturally release that pressure just for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can carefully press your button over here, let that steam release, and then open it up. So I will meet you back here as soon as we're ready to go. So we let our beans cook for 50 minutes, and then we let it naturally release for about 15 minutes. So now you can go ahead and press your button, let the steam out, um, and then open it up very, very carefully. So close. You definitely wanna make sure it does its final little it is done before you open it. There we go. So I also want to point out some safety tips when using an Instant Pot in case you have never used one before. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, I accidentally touched the top of it and burnt my fingertips. So do not touch the top of the Instant Pot when it's on. Also, you saw that steam come out of there. Make sure that's pointing away from you, away from any other people in your home, any pets. Um, just some general safety guidelines because while Instant Pot is pretty safe, there are some hazards if you are not careful. Okay, so all the pressure's been released so we can open it up and see what we have. Okay, so you can see with our black beans, there's still some liquid in there, but for the most part, a lot of it's absorbed. These black beans have a really good texture, they're soft, they're not too mushy. And then you can either drain all this fluid out or you, I would recommend storing it in some of the fluid just to keep that flavor in there. And then you can even use the liquid for some of your recipes. I love to have these black beans on hand so that at a moment's notice, I can defrost them in the microwave and use them for quesadillas, burritos, burgers, enchiladas, basically all the good food. So now that I have one pound of dried black beans cooked in the Instant Pot, I've got to put them away so that I can store them. One of the ways that you can do this is you can portion them out in amounts that you would use. So if you would typically use about two cups at a time or you would want two cups and thawed, you can store them in two cup portions. You could do one cup, three cup, whatever works for you. One way you can do this is just in a Ziploc freezer bag or if you have reusable bags like stasher bags, you can go ahead and um, wait for this to cool, first of all, and then portion out your beans in the bag, lay it flat, make sure there's no air, and then freeze them that way. So another thing that you can use to store your black beans, um, if you're going to freeze them, is a mason jar. One thing I would encourage you to do is pay attention to how much you're adding. The liquid will expand and you will end up with shattered jars if you overfill it. So. This is a three cup mason jar. I would only fill it up to two, two and a half cups and then put a lid on it and freeze it that way. This way you're gonna minimize the chances that you're gonna bust your glass in the freezer. Next time you're in the store wondering if you should get the canned black beans or dried to make yourself in the Instant Pot, do yourself a favor, get the dried. Because we just made one pound of black beans in the Instant Pot it was hands on time for only a couple of minutes, took about an hour from start to finish, and we're gonna get 12 cups of beans out of one pound for about the same price that you would buy a name brand can of beans. You can't beat that.
If you had fun this week, make sure you subscribe below so that you never miss a video. And I cannot wait to see you back here in Kelsey's Plant-Based Kitchen next week.